All right, so there's other uses of the PDF, uh, in particular to determine now the mean and the um, moments or the, the RMS values from that. If you look back at, the, at this PDF function that we just had, you can probably already guess that uh, the mean value for, for, the, for example, this distribution would be somewhere in the middle. Um, equally, if the, the PDF is a little bit shifted to, to left and right, the mean value would be able to would be also shifting to the, to the left and right. So you can already imagine that uh, from the PDF you can also determine now the, the mean value and the, the uh, filter impacts. So, um, so, so we can determine now the means at the moment using the PDF from the mean of a variable u can then be determined as u as the integral from minus infinity plus infinity v f v dv. So that is a probability weighted average. So for example, We have a look at some PDFs. So something like this. And something like this. And something like this. You would be able to determine now that, uh, for example, the mean value, if you're weighting it, it's quite often here, but quite often there somewhere the mean value would be somewhere over here. If you're using that one, it would be probably somewhere over here. And here, well, maybe over here. So you can determine all of the, the mean value from that. But if you now look at in particular these two functions, you see the mean value, the, value, the, the values uh, are not going to be straying very often away from the, from the mean value. Here you're going to have quite often values that are going to be outside, uh, away from the mean value, even though these functions are looking very, very similar. So you can also get um, something, some information about the, the fluctuating part. How large is the fluctuation of uh, the way that you do that? So, so you're getting now, so the, 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 you can now define the, the variance. The variance of u as the mean of u square, lowercase u, uh, while this one, so this one is a fluctuating part. Following the Reynolds decomposition. And that is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity v minus u square f of v. EV. So once you determine the, the mean value, you can also determine now the, the fluctuating part. So and the RMS value, we call that sigma. Oh. So if you have already the mean value of u square, it's pretty much straightforward. We call that sigma of n is uh, standard deviation of u is the square root of the variance of u. That is the square root of u square, the fluctuating part, of course. So you, can, you have now two ways to calculate the, the, the mean value. One is using the PDF, and the other one is, of course, uh, just averaging the uh, this. The, the variable over the time. But sometimes uh, you're not having the, the, the whole time signal, you're just having something like the probability density function. And that essentially comes where it comes in handy that you can have uh, now an alternate way to calculate it. I can also now define the nth moments. So this one. So this one is also called the first moment here. I'm oh, sorry, the second moment. Mm. 
the end moment u is then defined as u to the power n <coughs> that is equal to the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity v minus u to the power n f of v dv. So the second moment we use it for the to determine the variance and uh, from that the, the RMS value. And higher moments you can also use um, if you have your um, uh, measured, for example, uh, turbulent signal, you can determine higher moments. And uh, they could be used, for example, later on for the modeling of uh, um, in the energy equation. We get to that um, in, in, in later parts. So in particular important is uh, the third moment, which is also called the skewness. And the fourth moment, which is also called the flatness of the cortosis. All right, um, I want to give you an example now, how to calculate uh, or how to uh, do some calculations on a PDF. Okay, and we say it's um, an example, we have a uniform distribution. f of v is either 1 over e minus a or a smaller equal v smaller equal b on 0 x. Okay. So it's a constant value between a and b and otherwise it's uh, 0. If we plot that now PDF. I have here A, I have here B. Between A and B is a constant value, which is exactly 1 over B minus A. And otherwise, it's 0. So, first of all, you can plot now the CDF on that. And uh, if possible, you should pause the, the movie for a second and uh, try it by yourself. Okay, then I'll show it to you now. So it's uh, the, the, if this one is a gradient of the CDF, that means the gradient here is zero, so the value remains zero up to this point where we are at A. And here we have B, minus one. Here between A and B, it goes straight up, up to this value, up to its one. And then the value, the gradient is zero again, so it's going to be somewhere over here. So that is a CDF just by looking at the, the PDF. Okay, and now I want you to exercise. Show that uh, the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of f of v dv is equal to 1. And this was something that we that we know that every PDF needs to fulfill, and uh, determine uh, the mean value u from that. Okay, so please pause it for a moment and uh, then uh, get back when when you're done. Okay, welcome back. So, we want to calculate now the First, show that the integral of minus infinity to plus infinity of f of v dv is equal to 1. 
So that is equal to an integral from minus, so from a to b. f of e is 1 over e minus a dv. So I'm restricting the, the integral now from a to b because everything else is 0 anyway. So, so if you're integrating that, <clears throat> so that one is going to be then, if you draw this one out, 1 over e minus a, then I have just one left here. The integral of, the, of uh, 1 is going to be b in this case. The limits of uh, a and b. So that is going to be 1 over b minus a. Upper limit is b, lower limit is a. So upper limit minus b, lower limit. Then you see this one is b minus a over b minus a, and that is equal 1. That is what we wanted to show. All right, the mean value, u, is the integral of minus infinity to plus infinity, v, f, v, v. That's the integral, again, from a to b, v times 1 over b minus a. So we can draw up the 1 over b minus a again, that's constant, and the integral of v is going to be v one half v square, the limits of a and b. And that is one over b minus a times one half. Upper limit is b square, lower limit is a square. A sorry. And so b square minus a square. You can also rewrite that as first b minus a minus one half b square minus a square you can write that rewrite that as b minus a times a plus a plus b sorry yeah b plus a <clears throat> and you see here's one b minus a falling out so what's left is one half b plus a. Well, that's uh, just from the uh, from the probability density function PDF. Uh, we've now determined the mean value over there. Okay, and uh, if you look back at the function here, it's actually not much uh, surprising. One half b plus a is essentially essentially the uh, the, the, the middle line over here, the center between b and b over there.